Hello, Internet Slats, it is I, the guy in the basement. How are ya? The award-winning basement from Bethany, Nebraska, I mean, uh, There you go. Bam. Um, why, you think I was gonna leave this one alone? No, I'm not gonna leave this one alone at all. No, 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 no. I am not leaving this one alone. Uh, a few days ago, on Wednesday, we had the vice presidential debates. I thought at first, I thought, in my opinion, I thought it was going to be a big snore job, you know, you know, wake me up when it's over type of thing. But no, actually, it wasn't. In a way, it wasn't. I have to adjust here. <laughs> in a way, it was not. In a way, it was, yeah, it, it needed a little... It had a little spice in it. It wasn't exactly kicking chicken, but it needed a little spice. And it did get a little spicy. Or just in the middle, in the end, it got a little spicy. All in all is that um, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too impressed by it. I mean, I wasn't impressed with neither of them. Let's just put it that way. And, you know, first of all, these two couldn't answer a simple yes and no question right off the bat. I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. Well, yes, they were playing politics. They were playing politicians. Um, so they couldn't answer a straight question. They're like, oh, yeah. And now they're telling stories. Uh, Pence was uh, kind of, they, they asked him about one subject, but he went back to another subject. Never really answered a question. Harris was kind of the same way. It was just all mixed up. It was. It was, a, in my opinion, it was not a really good debate. Uh, both candidates didn't really say anything. Is this going to impact the presidential race? Uh, my answer is no. I don't think it impacted anything, to tell you the honest truth. Um, David, uh, excuse me, Mike Pence. I always like to call him David Pence. I don't know why. But Mike Pence said... Uh, Said something to Senator Harris, says you need to stop playing politics with the people. I thought that was an interesting statement, actually, because uh, because uh, isn't that what the Republican Party is doing, too? I mean, politicians do that all the time. Politicians like to play with people's lives, okay? That's just bottom line, because some politicians in this world... They all have a God complex, and they think they can play with people's lives through politics. Yeah, I'm just saying. Some people may agree with that. Others may not, but that's how I feel about it, and that kind of got my attention. Another thing that got my attention is when Vice President Prince said, we are stacking the lower co courts excuse me, with conservative judges. And I thought to myself, well, the Democrats do the same thing, so there you go. Once again, we're playing politics. Um, yeah, do I trust any of them if they ever became president? Let's see. No, don't. Not even Harris, not even Pence. I don't trust any of them, to tell you the truth. Um, like I said, none of them can really give a straight answer. Harris did give some straight answers, which kind of scared me a little bit. Pence, eh, eh, not so much. All in all, if you had to choose a winner, which I have no, there's no really winners in debates anyway, but this debate, there wasn't one. So um, I'd probably give the edge to Harris a little bit because they, cause, cause let's face it, old Mikey Pence got under her skin a little bit talking about her career. And uh, yeah, she got a little pissed about that. If you if you watch the vice presidential debates, you can see why what I'm talking about because she got a little mm, nip, got a little mad. Yeah, she snapped at his ass. Going, I ain't gonna sit here and let the vice president of the United States dictate me, or excuse me, lecture me. <laughs> you go, girl. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so. I'll give that to Senator Harris. She did stand her ground. So, like I said, do I trust him? No, I don't trust him at all. <laughs> Neither one of them. Also, there is also news. I don't know what else is going on, but I haven't watched news, so bear with me with this. Uh, apparently, uh, we do have the presidential debates next weekend, or next week. I think Thursday was it. 
Um, apparently, they want to go virtual. You know, they want to zoom it. <laughs> I don't want to say virtual. Let's just say zoom it. They want to zoom it. Donald Trump, of course, is against this idea. Joe Biden, he doesn't give a shit. Um, but Donald Trump, you know, he's totally against it. Um, so, you know, and, and, and I thought, yeah, I can see where he's coming from. I do, because if you want to debate somebody, you want to go one-on-one -on -one with them, not over a computer, which I can see that. I can, I can, I can see that. Because in high school, I was in, I was in the, on the speech team, so I kind of know where he's coming from with that. Um, then I thought, well, if they did it by computer, they can mute Donald Trump, because Donald Trump likes to interrupt Joe Biden a lot. Mr. Trump! Mr. Trump! Oh, screw it! Beep! <laughs> So I think that's why Trump doesn't want to be on the computer or in Zoom because then he knows they can mute him. And he admitted it too. So that was kind of funny. Yeah, they can mute me. What you think? If you don't shut up, they will mute you. Stop interrupting Donald. So they haven't really decided what they're going to do. Uh, I heard some talk yesterday that they were going to try to do it uh, around October 22nd, maybe maybe i don't know because the only the reason why they're doing all this is because as you know donald trump had the cov19 suppose um he was diagnosed with cov19 um and all this and that and that's what kind of caused all this controversy about the uh the presidential debate because donald had the cov19 uh supposedly i don't know if he does or not but he looks i mean for a guy who just got out, you know, for a guy who just got out of the hospital in three days, he looks pretty good, doesn't he? I don't know if he had the COV-19. He just probably had a flu bug. That's what I'm thinking. Come on. Let's don't get too dramatic, people. But it's Washington. It's politics. Let's try to get the upper, up, and let's try to get the up, up, upper hand. By the way, I will get a comment because Nancy Pelosi, I don't really haven't watched the news yet, but I will do this probably this weekend or so. Nancy Pelosi was going to uh, try to invoke or talk about the 25th Amendment. Basically, they're trying to get Donald Trump out of office because of the COVID-19 and probably because he's jacked up on drugs or whatever what they're doing. God knows what Nancy Pelosi is doing. Nancy needs to smoke some weed and just calm down for a few minutes. But <clears throat> that's what's going on there. I'll kind of get on that and watch Fox News because I need a good laugh once in a while. So I'll watch on that and try to see, because I'm not going to shut up about that either. Well, I may, it depends. If I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. But yeah, Nancy Pelosi was trying to invoke the 25th Amendment today. She was going to talk about it. See, that's what she said yesterday. She was going to talk about it. We don't know, Nancy. So I don't know what's going on with that. But all I do know is that um, it's... It, the Democrats and Republicans are basically playing politics. And it's Washington, and it's close to an election, and a lot of Democrats, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of Democrats want to see Trump out of office. So they're going to be playing their little games, games that people play, and that's what they're doing. But <clears throat> what the hell do I know? I'm just a guy in a basement. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like the show or you don't like the show. Or you can email me at drunkfarmer67 at gmail.com. If you want to leave a comment there, that'd be really nice. I like to hear from you people. I like to talk to you people. Could you please send me a comment? Please, pretty please. Please. Till next time, I'm Drunk Farmer. This has been the award-winning basement from Beth. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye.